What is happening, guys? Welcome back to more Tales of Vesperia. Let's head on down to the docks. Continue the adventures. Where's Judith going? <laughs> Judy. God damn it, Judith. Another cutscene that should have been voice acted, but wasn't. My guess is she's going around destroying Blastia because of air imbalances or something. And she's trying to return things to oh, their natural order. Yoder. Oh, it's you all. We meet again. Kind of a dick response, Yoder. So what's a successor to the Imperial Throne doing in a place like this? I've been working with the Dawn to officially seal our treaty of friendship. Is it going well? Well, I wish I could say it were going better. I can imagine. That Heracles monstrosity kind of made the Union really not like the Empire. Yes. And now, prominent members of the Empire are voicing their doubts regarding the Friendship Treaty. The conditions the Don gave the Empire were for a treaty of equality, after all. And they are certainly not on equal footing with something like that. Yes. Had I known about Heracles beforehand, I could have stopped them, but... You didn't know about that thing? You're in line to be Emperor! I know, but I have no authority over the Imperial Knights. The Imperial Knights act on orders from the Emperor alone. They do not report to anyone else. Well then, it's easy. Just become Emperor. You mean... Becoming Emperor isn't as simple as that. Why not? To ascend to the throne, one must possess the Imperial Treasure, Dane Nomos. Oh, forgot about that. But Dane Nomos went missing around the time of the Great War. Ten years ago. And if I remember, Dane Nomos is the sword that uh, Duke is using. Huh. So that's the real story why we still don't have an emperor. Oh, wait, hold on. So so there's no emperor? So then who are the knights reporting to? And that's why Rago wanted to get his hands on Dane Nomos. What was that, Yuri? Forget it. It's nothing. Anyway, is it really okay for an imperial candidate to be wandering the streets like this? I was just on my way to Heliord. Ah, that is closer to Dongress than this place is. Negotiations would probably go smoother there. I believe so too. Master Yoder, we should be off. If you'll please excuse me. Hmm. So there's no Emperor right now? Just... That doesn't... Hang on a second. Uh, who is current Emperor Fails of Speria? I don't think there is one. No, the closest thing that comes up is Yoder as a candidate. Alright, that doesn't make sense. So if the Knights only report to the Emperor, and there's currently no sitting Emperor, who the fuck are in charge of the Knights?
Like, is it, is it, is it just me here? Doesn't that seem kind of like a plot hole? Are we not going on our journey? Hang on, I, I might have missed something while I was Googling. Go back towards the end, see if that procs anything. And I figured, you know, we, we understand that, but that shouldn't change anything. We still gotta, you know, cross the ocean. Yeah, we gotta make make our way towards Norapolica. We can return to the field map. Well, let's go try and talk to somebody down by the docks and see if anything happens. And if that doesn't work, then I will go to the end and I'll just talk to people until we get something. For, then I want my money back. Add the indigo beasts to the blacklisted guilds. Yes, Madam President. Isn't that the woman we met at Dayton Hold? Yeah, foxy red hair lady. Yeah, that's her, all right. Well, why do you guys know her? We just met her once a while back. Is she a friend of yours? I wouldn't say I know her. She's the president of Fortune's Market, one of the five master guilds. In other words, she's one of the top dogs at the Union. <laughs> hey, I just got an idea! What's up, Carol? Maybe she could get a boat for us to take across to Desier. To pay for that boat, I'm gonna sell my body. And by that, I mean do the job that she needs done. I can find her. Where the hell did she go? Gotta be the end. You can't find somebody, it's always the end. Maybe we have another just trigger cutscene if we go this way. This is where she was yelling at those people. No, we went up. God damn it, game! I know for a fact I just saw her, and now she's missing, and I need to find her. Raiders Guild Fortune's Market. Maybe she's here. Our goods. Okay, that's not it. I was thinking maybe talking to them. It's a Fortune's Market thing. I think that was the name of her guild. Uh, is she in one of the rooms? This is the only thing I don't like about Vesperia. Sometimes it's like, you know, you're, you're just, <laughs> you just have to basically run around trying things until it triggers the, the next part of your journey, basically. And I'm like almost positive she's still in the town because we just saw her in the fucking town. But now she's missing. I don't know where the hell she went she was going that way, unless she's waiting down by the docks, which seems unlikely, but it's possible. Yeah, she is. Jesus Christ. Well, if it isn't Mr. Yuri Lowell, you've come at just the right time. 
Huh, I guess those wanted posters really do work. Listen, I've got a job that would be just perfect for you. Hard labor, huh? I like a man who can cut to the chase. As you may have heard, schools of mermen often attack cargo ships at this time of year. Huh? But I thought there was another guild that always served as your escort. It seems the leader of the mercenary guild I hire passed away suddenly, so they aren't available. The other guardian guild simply has no backbone. I don't know what to do. What was the name of that guardian guild you mentioned? The Blood Alliance. Gee, I wonder what could have happened to them. <laughs> You're all as guilty as I am. Hate to disappoint you, but we're in the middle of something right now, so see you around. Wait, Yuri, what about the boat? Hmm? Did you say boat? We've made a guild of our own. We're called Brave Vesperia. That's a wonderful name. Well then, shall we talk business? Mutual gain is one of the basics of all business, you know. You scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. Sorry, but like I said, we're in the middle of a job. We can't take on anything else right now. We won't call it business then. Let's just say we'll cooperate as two guilds helping each other out. That way we won't be going against any guild principles. There are various incentives for getting along with me, you know. Booty. Um, well... All right, we can talk, but we need to go to Nordopolica. We can't afford any detours. Fine with me. The mermen are only a problem in the waters near here. As long as I get to another port, I'm good. Once we arrive, I won't have any trouble making arrangements with another ship. Wow, she means business. Literally. So, do we have a deal? I have the sinking feeling we just got tricked into something. I mean, no, Rita, we didn't get tricked into anything. We need a ship to cross the ocean. She wants us to guard the boat while it crosses the ocean. This is a this is a win-win. Fortune's Market isn't known as the best group of salesmen under the sun for nothing. This isn't so bad. Now we have a way to cross over to Desier. Thank you, Judith. This is why you're waifu prime. I'll even throw in a bonus for all of you. Bonus? What do you mean? If we arrive safely in Nordopolica, I'll give you the boat we used to get there. Really? The boat looks pretty beat up, but it's still a good deal. Right? So these mermen must be pretty tough customers if you're willing to part with the boat. I'll leave that to your imagination. I figured as much. Marvelous. We have a contract then. Now that we've settled the details, I'd like you to get to work right away. Just let me know when you've made your preparations. I mean, this is a great deal. We protect a boat and we're giving it to keep. Like, yes, yes, I would like a free boat. Boats are fucking expensive. This is the Fiertia. She'll be your ship as soon as you've escorted her to Nordopolica. And this man is Tokunaga of Gullsong, a maritime guild affiliated with Fortune's Market. I'm Tokunaga. Very nice to meet you. He's only on board for this voyage, so next time be sure to hire your own pilot. We're not in a hurry, but these are important negotiations, so I really appreciate the help. What is the ship's cargo? That's confidential information. It's nothing we should be worried about, is it? Relax. We've got it covered. All right. Head towards Nordopolica. Go directly southwest from Torum Harbor, and you'll see the Desier Continent. Nordopolica is at the eastern edge. I hope you won't mind if I go over the Fiertia's controls for you. You can only disembark from the ship where you see a dock, a port, or a beach. You won't be able to get onto land where there are cliffs. Of course, the ship can't pass over rocks, but you'll also have to keep her out of the shallows around islands. You might be able to take her into some rivers, if they're deep enough. However, if there's a bridge spanning the river, you won't be able to take her under. We wouldn't want to clip off our mast. Oh, camera, control rotate, perform action. Toggle nav map. And you turn okay, it's pretty and easy. And that's stuff. about it. Let's 
is Capuanar, Capuatorum. That's the red thing exactly. Oh, the red thing is past the red. I'm pretty sure I'm sailing exactly where I am. Uh, not supposed to be going. <laughs> just kind of like, yep, yep, just going around. That's that's ice. I don't think ice is what we want. Beach there. Am I really just supposed to go to Torm Harbor? No. no it's not that close. Uh, I wish this map was, was better for navigation than what we got here. So we hit the desert. if we don't run into the mermen, won't it? Hmm. That's pretty wishful thinking. You're quite the pessimist for your age, girly. I'm just a realist. Anyway, thanks for your help. Looks like we're gonna make it there on time. Yeah. Leviathan's Claw was going to beat us there if we hadn't found an escort for the ship. Leviathan's Claw, huh? That's a name I seem to be hearing a lot lately. Oh? They're the guild that's specializing in sales of Hopeland Blastia. Oh, that explains the situation in Heliord. Lately, they've been trying to steal our clients from us. If we weren't able to cross the sea, they would have swiped up another one of our major customers. Still, you can't help but wonder where those slime balls are getting their products from. Indeed. Hopeland Blastia isn't exactly the easiest thing in the world to get one's hands on. You don't think the Empire is behind this? No, that couldn't be. It's mages that are supervising the Blastia distribution. And mages report to the Empire. Ah, right on time. Everyone, be careful! Ugh, the world's spinning. I think I'm getting seasick. Did that monster just say something? That voice sounds familiar. Well, well, aren't you a chatty monster? Is she inside this thing's belly? Let's eliminate them! Say, uh, Merman is a, uh, nope. interesting name. <laughs> Predafish. You're true to your reputation. I was right to bring you along. I tell you, Brave Vesperia doesn't have any shame in working an old man down to the bone. You didn't even fight. Even while I'm looking for Apatheia and doing all sorts of other things. Apatheia? Isn't that what you were looking for back in Nor Harbor? That's right. That's nothing but a fairy tale. I researched it a while back, but eventually I realized that there's simply no way it can theoretically exist. I'm well aware people think it's a fairy tale. Why are you looking for it? Well, because the Don told me to. It's still alive! Voyage. 
Can you really call it a voyage when you're in a monster's belly? What are you doing all the way out here? I was hunting for treasure when I fell into the ocean, but a nice monster came to play with me. Oh, I'm glad you didn't become part of a complete breakfast. This is all well and good, but can we get the ship back on course? Yeah, sure. Ah! So that wasn't all of them. <sighs> I've healed him, but he should still rest for a while. Well, this is a real problem. I don't suppose any of you know how to pilot a ship. I can do it! Patty, you can? If you're gonna travel around the world, you better be able to at least pilot a ship. Then I'd like to ask you to be in charge of piloting this vessel. You gotta be kidding me. Nah, of course. We've made much better time than I thought. We could even afford to make a side trip or two. I'll leave the course up to you. With a ship, we can go practically anywhere we want. Estelle, I know you want to look for Pharaoh, but don't you think we have more important things to do for the moment? Do you think? I'll do what I want. Don't worry about me. We just started our guild. We should err on the safe side, don't you think, Carol? Yeah. All right. And feel free to give me directions about our course. The only thing I don't get is when we... So when we left the port, it had us, like, default heading to the northeast. But the cutscene triggered when I was going this way, which makes me think... This way, somewhere, is where we're gonna find the place we're looking for. Which then begs the question of why the hell it sent us going northeast. Alright, that's Heliord. There, that's... I think that's Dongrest? I really wish these damn cities were, were marked, because then I'd have a better clue of what's going on here in terms of where I'm going. The fog's gotten awfully thick. Yeah, it's creeping me out. Fog like this is usually a sign something bad's about to happen. N knock it off! Talk like that long enough and something bad will happen. Hey, front! I mean bow! Hmm. We're going to hit them. What is that? That's an old ship. I've never seen that type before. I think it says... The Atherum. A ghost ship. It's weird. There's no sign of people. It, it's like it's calling to us. No way! Come on, get the fear tube going. Hmm. No can do. I don't know why, but the Sarah's Blastia ain't responding at all. What do you mean? What the hell is wrong with it? You think this thing's the problem? Ooh, maybe it's a cursed ghost ship. Y you don't really think so, do you? Why don't we go take a look? It'll be fun. I love this sort of thing. <laughs> what? Well, we don't know what's wrong with the Blastia. We gotta go take a look. Are you planning on just leaving the Fiertia like this? All right, why don't four of us go investigate while the rest stay here and keep watch? That should be fine. Okay, so repeat and I'll go. And who's the third person? 
I'm not going. No way. <laughs> Yuri, why don't you decide? Gotcha. All right. Well, since we're about to board the ghost ship, we will we need to think about balance when splitting the party. Understand? This ship could also be attacked by monsters at any time. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know. Anyway, um, we're going to wrap up here. But obviously, the next episode, we have the ghost ship. So stay tuned. Catch you guys then with more.